Hi, my name is Saida Fazilov. I'm a former school head and lecturer at the first International Patient Design and Creativity Faculty in Uzbekistan. Today, I'm giving this presentation from the brand new MDAS Tashkent campus, where despite global pandemics and economical challenges, local and international experts are working hard to continue building the future. So here we are at the final stage of the setting up the first international fashion laboratory, so-called Creativity Incubator, within the MDIS in Tashkent. This space is going to be used as a platform for the new generations to expand their influence internationally and hopefully would boost the textile and design sector in the Republic of Uzbekistan in years to come. But before going into the deep dive on future, Hold on a bit and let me briefly highlight why you should consider Uzbek fashion and Uzbek textile industry as a new historical milestone on a global market record. Simply because Uzbekistan, this beautiful and most populated country in the heart of the Central Asia, was historically an active player in the global textile industry game. With its potential and production capacities in the 21st century, an enormous beauty and vibrance of palettes and patterns centuries before. Some statistics for you. Uzbekistan represents 10% of the world cotton exports, with 1 million tons of fiber annually. There are 7,000 light industry enterprises in Uzbekistan that accumulates 200,000 people working in it. According to the official report by Ostokomachilik Sanoat, production growth is doubling annually, representing a new renaissance in this industry. However, apart from numbers, there is a huge plot of cultural and visual treasures that backs up regional aesthetics and charm. This is now to be a base for a country identity and fashion ecosystem branding. For example, let's have a look at the references from the 19th century fashion in ancient Turkestan. 19th century coats, so-called chapan in Uzbek, played an important part in defining person's rank. The rulers and high court officials would dress as silk velvet coats with gold embroidery and large belts. This vibrant clothing and textiles as adras, atlas, shoy became an inspiration source for a global society. So influence of Uzbek art can be found even in the French archives, in the costumes made by famous designers for Diaghilev's ballet trousses in the 20s, and modern collections by Maestro Giorgio Armani and Alessandro Micheles Gucci. Having this multi-dimensional cultural background, we are building new fashion ecosystem for Uzbekistan. In the recent three years, we were physically building new fashion future with international expertise, existing students and running bachelor's program. The puzzle is going to be complete. This space is blessed to become a melting pot for the new generation. Fashion design, illustrations, marketing, textile printing, digital graphics, and even a fashion business startup platform, all are here. So within the course of fashion product and promotion, students would explore and build core skills in every aspect of the fashion industry, establishing their own brand, from creating the brand identity, its marketing strategy, graphic design, visual merchandising, actual collection, and the concepts. Our partners, University of Sunderland, that offers the program, are ranked number 40 in UK, according to the Guardian's University Leagues table. 100% of the program graduates from UIS have a further employment within the six months. Module list for three years includes the studies of the theories of design, introduction to fashion and product, real practice with the sewing and working with machinery, advanced fashion design theory, and creating a final project with portfolio. 
For the foundation year, students are given a broad introduction to the business side of fashion, understanding the fashion industry from the creative and commercial side. On year one, we study history of design, including the movements in design and architecture, and have a practical experience in studio. On year two, students start to work on their portfolios and illustrations, with design works in studios, sketching, and actual garments development. For the final year, students are to present their final research projects with portfolios and runway show. We are excited because our first graduates would graduate the course next year. But the most interesting part of this program is an innovative resource involved into this program. This is a huge fashion design laboratory that is far more technologically advanced than their analogs in UK and in Singapore. Students are working with special equipment Syntex. These are the special tablets that allow students to draw sketches electronically. There are no paper, no pencils, only digital and 21st century approach. We are excited to say that we will have a large fabrics digital printer in Tashkent that would remove all the boundaries for a creative minds to make their ideas happen in reality. So we feel that the future is now and it's time to act. There is a huge market with the big opportunities and why should we wait? Uzbekistan is a must-to-visit destination for fashion designers and textile experts. So I welcome all participants of Millennials Festival to visit Uzbekistan and open treasures of our fashion. But before the actual meeting, let me introduce you to our students. Hi, my name is Hayit Vaolima. I am the student of Fashion Product and Promotion Faculty. In the very beginning, we started fashion marketing. Then, the uh, course taught us how to sew and design clothes. And you know, I was an assistant of brand manager. We had uh, the six brands like Guess, Jennifer, Pimki, etc. And now I have an internship in Lali brand. And now I am assistant of designer Lali. And you know, there are a lot of uh, opportunities in Uzbekistan to work in fashion industry because uh, the market is empty, so everyone wants us. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ezaz Khan. I am from Fashion Product and Promotion Faculty, Year 2 student. It started with investigation of the key looks for autumn winter 2024 to, from research carried out using WJSN.com website. From this information, we have explored design development for a capsule collection of three looks in our sketchbooks. We've chosen one theme and found source of inspiration to produce a final lineup of the collection. Here you can see my mind map and mood board. Uh, my theme was about the colony in the Mars. My source of inspiration was Elon Musk's SpaceX rockets and the landscape of the Mars, and also space suits. Uh, during the study, I enjoyed to do marketing research because I think that it's a very important thing before starting the brand. So I like that how uh, teachers uh, show us the way, how we can make it easier and more e effective. We could work uh, here and create our own brands, like try new fabrics, tr try to create some new types of like uh, printing the products and like do some experiments in order to evaluate like our skills and do something new in fashion industry. Like it's easy to uh, implement it into startup projects, but it's not easy to implement it uh, into some businesses that are uh, already started and like worked about uh, some years and so on. Because it's uh, really difficult to explain to the owners of the brand how it should work in uh, ideal version like. And the course program is structured in the way that you learn how to develop your brand step by step. Actually, it is about analyzing the brand, its history, strategy, its customers and many other details. I decided to work on the school uniform. The concept idea was uh, maximum comfort using eco-friendly and uh, recyclable materials. It begins from uh, creating a conceptual idea of the brand and its promotion in general. Thanks for watching us today and hope to see you soon in the Fashion Laboratory and Design Incubator in Tashkent. If you want to know more about the Bachelor's of Arts program in Fashion Product and Promotion, welcome to the official networks of our partners in United Kingdom, University of Sunderland, our partners in Singapore, Management Development Institute of Singapore and its branch in Tashkent, MDIS in Tashkent. Program specifications and requirements for Tashkent 
are available via consultation at MDIS Tashkent Campus or at www.mdis.uz. See you. Bye.